Hi, my name is Boss from Cloud9, and this is my basic champion guide to Renekton. Renekton in solo queue, you want to pick Renekton into melee if you can. So if you see someone like Fiora, Jax, Irelia, pretty much anyone that's melee, Renekton can do well versus them if you play it right. And just the fact that since they're melee, it's easier to stick on them and just uh, do as much damage as you can to them. While ranged champions can kite Renekton pretty well, and it's just harder for Renekton to stick on Laning as Renekton, you wanna, if you start with Q, you wanna look to stack up your Fury a bit and use your Q whenever they're in range. And just look to harass them whenever your Q is up. And if you're able to get 50 Fury, then you wanna use your Q on them to do a lot of damage and heal if you're low. Then at level 2, if they're melee, you wanna get W next and basically get your Fury to 50 and use your W on them to do a lot of damage to them to force them out lane. And then if they're a ranged champion, then you wanna grab E next and E onto them when you have 50 Fury to get good trades off. And when you're level three, you could E to them, stun them, get a good trade and just back off or all in if you think you can kill them. Renekton in team fights, you want to run in with your ulti and go on all the squishies. You want to use your empower W on any of the squishy champs that you see so that you can do a lot of damage and stun them for a while and just nuke them down. And if you're getting low, you want to use your empower Q and as much people as possible and you'll heal a lot and sustain through the team fight. But you basically just want to use your W and Q empower the most since it does the most damage. And I don't think you the E helps that much unless you're getting away. One tip for Renekton or playing as Renekton is when you're about to make a trade with someone and you have about 30 or 40 Fury, you can dash at them, then use your Q to gain Fury, then use your W to use your Empower W to get a good trade off. Rinse for Renekton, I go Armor Pen Reds because he has a lot of base damage and they're all physical so it does a lot of damage later. I go Armor Yellows, CDR Blues, and 80 quins and this is for versus physical damage when i'm versus a uh, mage top i go hp per level yellows and mr blues i go cdr runes on renekton because all his skills cost uh, nothing so you could pretty much just spam them when they're up and cdr reduces the cooldown by a decent amount to help you spam the skills i go 12 18 0 on renekton for masteries and i do this because Thunderlord's Decree is really good on Renekton, and there's not much uh, to get from the Ferasi that I think is better than Thunderlord's on Renekton. And then you also have like Executioner or Merciless to do more damage when they're low just to bully in your lane and kill them. And it has Precision that gives you a flat penetration that's really good on Renekton too. Let's go over for Renekton and I start off with Q. Then if I'm against a melee, I go W second, E third, Max Q first, E second, I'll tune whenever I can and W last. Adam build Renekton, I go Doin's Blade first, one HP pot. Then I go for Black Cleaver, Steric's Gage, Deadman's, Ninja Tab your Merc Treads, depending on the other team. Then Thornmill or Spear Visage, depending on the other team, and vice versa. So I go Black Cleaver first as the main core item because it gives move speed when you're attacking. And uh, the penetration you get from the item is really good with Renekton since. All his skills is physical and they apply the and you can apply a lot of stacks from his W. Then Hydra, I would recommend getting it if you're really ahead in lane. You get it as a second item just so you can have a lot of damage and be able to push and farm fast too. Thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the rest of my guides over at lowclass.com.